garo What can't you do? What won't you do? Nothing impossible the journey is still on, and your friend Reverend Lawrence Kwesi Titi comes your way again today, Lent Day 32, from the Presbyterian Church of Ghana Grace Congregation Community 11, Tema. And the peace of the Lord be with you. I share with you the word and the theme nothing is too hard for the Lord. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. You remember yesterday I told you that the Lord will one day turn your morning into joy. It is following that that I want to let you know. Yes, because the Lord is able to do all things. Nothing is too difficult. Why? Because he created the universe. He created the whole universe. He did not create part and somebody created part. He created everything and he maintains and sustains everything. And there is nothing that is so difficult that is so hard for the Lord. In the, in the dictionary of the Lord, uh, my friend said, there is nowhere like impossibility. The Lord is able to do all things possible. I read an excerpt of scripture from Jeremiah chapter 32, the verses 16 and 17. Jeremiah 32, 16 and 17. After I, after I had given the deed of purchase to Baruch, the son of Neria, I pray to the Lord saying, Ah Lord, it is you who have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Lord, you have made the heaven. This is a confession of the prophets. The prophets and the people of Israel had gone through pain and agony and all that in, and, and even in captivity. The prophets still believed the Lord to be able to do all things of course it is true he did not need the permission of anybody to put everything or anything on this earth in place the plan and the design in his eyes were perfect and so he said everything he's created is perfect pain and agony and sin weaknesses and wickednesses are in this world but the power and the might of God surpasses all surpass all of them and that is why I want to encourage you and let you know that there is nothing too hard for the Lord. In the verse 27, it is emphatically stated, but let me start from the verse 26. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? So now the Lord put the question to him. He said, is anything too hard for me? Is anything that you think is so impossible, so hard for the Lord not to do? nothing is too hard for the Lord he goes ahead to tell the prophet Jeremiah of course you have confessed with your mouth but today I re-echo by the authorities of the Lord that the earth were created by him the whole universe is in his hands he holds the whole world in his hands like the earth and he can leave it and he can just it can just be destroyed like that but he is able to do all things according to his will and purpose and that is why you need to continue to trust this God. There is nothing that is so difficult for him. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. So just as he allowed the people, he could allow the people of Israel to go into captivity. So he saved them. He brought them back. He allowed the whole generation to go into Egypt. But when the over 400 years were over, he sent Moses to go and bring the people there. When they were even coming and they suffered and they could not know where to go. And there was a Red Sea ahead of them. And there was no way. The mountains were on the left and the right. And, the, and, and, and Pharaoh and his people were chasing after him. After the Israelites. And the Red Sea was ahead. And there was no way. The Lord made the way. Nothing is too hard for him. Is there anything that is so difficult for the Lord to do? The answer is no. Just hand over your trouble and your pain and your agony to him and believe in him. Trust him. For there is no other way that you can be saved except through the Lord in the power of the Holy Spirit through his son Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Enjoy your day. Shalom.